What's up YouTube? Coach Lil Joe here, back again for another video. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about people, you know, wanting to know more about what it takes to do your first bodybuilding prep. And I have something exciting for you guys. More than one thing, actually. I've started to create a series of different eBooks. And these eBooks are gonna be available for purchase on Amazon, as well as my website. What the eBooks have we're gonna include, and I have two of them that are ready, that are really good and really good quality eBooks that are gonna be very beneficial for you. And the first one is actually a bicep training guide because every guy you know, wants bigger biceps, wants bigger arms, and so I have a complete guide to building bigger biceps and getting those big arms that you're looking to accomplish. And obviously that's gonna include more than just training in there that talks about nutrition, talks about other supplementation and things as well. And it gives you an idea of you know what it's gonna take in a long scheme of things in order to accomplish that goal of building those arms and how I did it and how you can go about doing it too. So this is a great guide for you and it's available for only $9.99. So check that out because I just posted it on Amazon. And the next book that I am coming out with and I'll be publishing very soon is a guide to your first bodybuilding prep. Now, this is going to be great because a lot of people, like I said, they come to me asking me about like, you know, what do I have to do to get ready for my first show? And this is going to be a complete guide that can help you see exactly and understand exactly what it takes to get ready for your first show. Going into details about nutrition, cardio, tanning, shaving, PED use, you know, getting, getting posing trunks, you know, understanding how, like when to show up for a show if it's out of town, getting there early, making sure you have your ducks in a row and, you know, setting everything up so that way you're registered for the show, et cetera, and everything else in between, you know, how to like go about starting your prep, how to go about, you know, taking it week by week, working with a coach, everything else in between. So this is gonna be a complete guide that I made for you that's uh, for your first bodybuilding prep and it's a great first step in the right direction to understand what it's going to take for you to do your first bodybuilding show. And this would be very similar for someone who's doing classic physique or men's physique or any other category because it kind of goes over generally in regards to what is required to compete in a fitness or bodybuilding competition. And this book as well is gonna be available for $9.99 on Amazon and it's world worldwide so depending on the pricing that's 9.99 in canadian dollars so in american dollars that's like 7.99 and then different currencies the pricing will be a little different but i'm excited because i'm going to create two more books for this series and the next book that i'm going to create is going to be really special so i'll tell you guys about that soon once it's ready but i'm working on that one right now because i have these other two books ready these are ones that i already created and just haven't posted properly yet on a site like that to purchase and now they're going to be available to purchase and like I said a lot of great information in there and I encourage you guys to check those out and I'll post the links below for the Kindle so you can check it out on Amazon slash Kindle and you know see those books and and get them today so you can really start to you know work towards bigger arms and your first bodybuilding prep if that's something you're trying to work towards. Now, another thing I want to touch on today is what my plans are for 2025. You know, a lot of people, they they keep asking me that as well. They're like, you know, what are you going to compete next? What show are you going to do? And now is the time that I'm going to talk about what my show plans are going into 2025. Right now, I don't have 100% every single show that I plan on doing, but I know for sure without a doubt that I want to do the Vancouver Pro and that will be a show that I will 100% do because I haven't had the opportunity to do it as a pro yet and I want to um, for many reasons just because I've seen what the shows run like I've been to you know I've been to BC I love it out there I'd love to be able to check out West Coast Iron Gym again I haven't been out there since 2019 so it'd be amazing just to go out there and make a little trip out of it visit my family because my brother lives out there and my two nephews and everything so it'd be really nice to visit with them they live in North Vancouver and you know make the whole experience of it just uh, you know not just to compete 
Um, along with that, I would like to do at least two other shows around that. So I haven't fully decided, you know, I might, depending on how uh, things go when I start to ramp things up again, like I'm looking at, uh, you know, ramping things up again, like in December, going into January to like go more into the contest prep mode and uh, likely in like February sometime. It just depends on when I decide to pull the trig and, uh, you know, pick that first show because I don't want Vancouver to be my first show. I want Vancouver to be the show where I'm bringing my absolute best, but I will do at least one show before that, maybe two. And then we'll see, you know, what shows those be. It might be Toronto Pro. Maybe it'll be a show like uh, Chicago Pro or Tampa Pro or, you know, depending on the dates of these shows, I don't know exactly what the dates are yet because that doesn't come out until December. So once I know the exact dates, then I could firm that up. But like I said, 100% sure I want to do Vancouver Pro and surrounding that we'll see what happens and i would love to do at least three shows because you know after having a year off i just love to have a few shows lined up you know and just like battle it out and try and get that win so i can do the olympia so that's kind of where my mind's at right now um you know i did a brief off-season cycle for about 12 weeks and then as soon as i got sick i like stopped like that <laughs> as soon as i got sick because i was sick for on and off for about four weeks my voice is still kind of Kind of raspy yeah my voice is still kind of raspy i find that always happens when i get colds because first i got a flu bug that lasted over a week then i was good for a few days and then i got hit with a cold and that lasted like like two weeks and i'm still like slightly on and off a bit congested or a little bit here and there but um i'm totally feel fine in regards to like appetite and training and everything like i'm back into a good groove now Training's consistent, nutrition's consistent. I've been on TRT now for, I believe it's been six weeks, um, cause I was planning to do another, about four weeks of TRT and then check my blood work, make sure everything's a good standing. And then going into December at some point, I will, you know, start to push things up to, to like put some fullness back on. Cause I'm sitting around 282 in the morning right now. Um, I went all the way after being sick like that, I went all the way down to like 275. <laughs> which felt pretty light because I was up to about 300 pounds um, sitting around 300 pounds when I was at the peak of that uh, that off-season cycle when I was really you know pushing food more and I was in a decent composition at 300 pounds um, I just felt kind of uncomfortable so then I started to scale my food intake back and then I was down to like the low 290s and I was liking the way things were starting to look and then I got sick and dropped like from like low 290s to like 275 in the span of like three weeks. Um, you know, the combination of being sick and then coming off cycle, it just like friggin' kills you when you can't eat that much and train. So that sucked, but now I'm back up to speed. I'm back in a good groove. Um, I'm almost at the end of the, uh, the show season. I have a lot of clients that have competed this year and I've traveled you know, in the past few months, I've traveled almost every weekend or every other weekend for a client competing. And I'm not complaining about it. It's just, yeah, it makes it more difficult to be 100% when you're, you know, you're traveling for other clients competing and, you know, you're battling like, you know, being sick on and off and everything. So it was like more challenging for me to be 100% with everything like I would normally like to be. But now that I have only one one show left to attend, and I think I have and I have one other client who's competing the same weekend, but it's out of uh, out of the country. So after that, then it's nothing until the spring. So I have a lot more time to focus on my training and my own thing, and really ramp things up going into the winter time. And then you know, come the springtime, I can you know start pushing into that contest prep mode. So my focus will be to to get my body weight back up a bit. Um, I'd like to be in like the 295 range, um, don't really want to be 300 pounds. So I would like to be 10 pounds, you know, 10, 15 pounds heavier than I am right now. And just better body composition, obviously. So not saying I'm in bad composition right now, but I would just like to put on a little more t tissue and drop a little bit of body fat. That way I'm sitting around 295 and realistically, if I'm 295, it would be, a, you know, max 25 pounds over stage weight kind of thing you know like if i'm i sh realistically i think my my best look competing wise is going to be the high 260s to, to like 270 range like anywhere from like 265 to 270 um i think is the the best look for me with a combination of really good conditioning and fullness 
So that's the kind of range I shoot for. I know some guys, you know, they continue to try and chase the scale up, but I know for myself, like trying to get any heavier than I've been is not the play because it's just gonna make my midsection look terrible. So I'm trying to mitigate that. And that's another reason why I've tried to keep my weight down is just keeping my midsection in check, training my core as much as possible. I do cardio every day, more or less, like with the exception of a few days where I don't. So anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, um, at varying intensities in the morning, and then I'll do core work. I'll do at least one or two core exercises, especially ab rollouts, broom twists, things like that, leg raises, um, just to really like emphasize the core work and start working on vacuums and just really trying to keep my waist in check as much as possible. And I think this is probably the best my midsection, a midsection has been in an off season, especially with control and just always having a flatter stomach. So. I'm hoping that continues to translate into the contest prep phase. And, uh, you know, I really plan on just going above and beyond this year. Cause like, you know, I feel like I've never, you know, people like, I, I think I've definitely always given my best, but I know I can do better. And that's what I plan on doing because coming back to the stage is not really like a, you know, like I'm just doing this for shits. I'm doing this because I want to do better than I've done. And I want to prove that. So this is about proving it to myself not about proving it to anybody else and showing myself that I can be better than I've been not only physically but mentally so for me that's uh, that's what that's what really counts is like beating myself and being you know a champion not only in the physical sense but in the mental sense so I'm excited to be able to showcase that and really really bring something special and I think if I bring the added improvements I can with the better midsection, better presentation, and an even more polished look with the same kind of, you know, size and everything that I've had previously. I think I can be in the mix and first call out in any show. So that's, you know, that's just the facts. Like, I think I can definitely be in the mix and mix it up and I'm excited now. Honestly, for a little bit, you know, I wasn't as, um, you know, I wasn't as in it. I wasn't as excited about bodybuilding, but now, Having that time away and seeing these shows and seeing other people compete, you know, it's getting me fired up again. Like I'm ready to, you know, get back to 100%. Um, not that I already ain't. Like I'm, you know, back to eating 100% now after being sick, back to training 100% and just like slowly ramping things up more and more every week. And it's just getting better and better. So let's do this, you know, let's bring it into 2025. Everybody, let's friggin' bring it. Let's do this, let's bring our best, and let's have a great friggin' year. You know, let's finish this year off strong. We still got just over two months left of this year. And, you know, going into the new year, I'm, I'm excited, man. Like, I had a great year this year, I can't complain. You know, I made some great advancements with my business, and like, you know, my, my life is not something I can complain about, so, you know, I'm excited to just like get back into competing and, uh, you know, continue to level up in all aspects of my life. So I appreciate uh, each and every one of you that tunes into these videos. Um, it means a lot to me. I may not be the most popular YouTuber out there, but I'm going to keep doing my best to bring you consistent content and sh show you guys an inside scoop of this contest prep, which is something I've never really done before. So I'm going to try and show you more than I've shown in the past when it comes to nutrition, training, and uh, being as open as possible about this prep. I was uh, planning to do that if I competed last year, but I didn't end up competing. So this year's the year that I'm going to do it. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment of something you'd like to see next. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that red button and subscribe now. Take care.